All right. I'm back. Let's get back to it. Right to secession. Protestants should have the right to secede. No. So, this is my issue, right? If you have a province that wants to separate from your country, then often it is used to avoid the laws that has been set by um, by the uh, by the national government, and I think that just it, it completely eliminates eliminates the idea of having a national government. It's useless. The only thing is um, if there is an extreme case, for example, of uh, um, of for example severe disagreements between the states based on uh, a violation of human rights or something. Like I think this was the case in um, India, and uh, there was an, an a state next to it or something. And they seceded from India because their human rights were completely invalidated or something. Or it was with Italy and some other country, I don't know. No, no, I think it was in, uh, Italy. No, it was India and some other country, right? And they seceded from... Um, I forgot to pull up the stream, by the way. Yeah, and there has been, um, in between those countries, there was a conflict on their, um, on the human rights violation, right? There was a, a suppression of the people, and I think that that could be justified for a secession. So I do think you should not be allowed to secede. However, you should give states more flexibility in setting their own laws so they can pass the laws that they want, except in extreme cases violating human rights. I do think that's fine. Refugees. It's duty to help people in need. Uh, you must have a system where refugees have background checks, but if they pass, you should let them in subject to conditions for integrating into society. Yeah, this is basically immigration, but I do think this one is the best one. Yeah, this one is the best one. Most important trait in a political leader. Experience. No? no I don't think so. Empathy? Yes. But I, n I think empathy alone is not what it needs to be, but it, it should be a driving force. Um, meet someone who will make decisions that need to be made even if they aren't popular. Uh, that can be iffy on both ways. Power. No, I think empathy is the best one. It sounds like really flowy, but I think if you have someone who has empathy for the people uh, his policy affects, I think that should be. Uh, I think that should be fine, right? Like you, you should have intelligence as well. Like you should be empathetic and not just. Uh, uh, and not just run into it. Um. But do you think empathy sh empathy should be the driving force? No, the mo not the most important trait is hand size. That's a, a pretty pretty irrelevant, you know. There's nothing wrong with mentioning God on our memorials as long as it isn't actively promoting any particular religion. I'm fine with that, but I do think separation of church and state. I'm opposed to mentioning a deity that probably doesn't exist on our memorials to real people who died for our nation. Yeah, it could also be like, kind of fucked, you know? Like, uh, what if you have like an atheistic leader, should there also be he's with God now? Uh, I don't think he would agree with that. Um, yeah, I think this one. Our national uh, uh, memories should not mention God or religion. It's pol it's political. It's not really anything to do with religion. Uh, you have the freedom to say anything. It's not legal until you actually take. Nope. Free speech should 
generally be free if it is literal speech. However, symbolic speech is destroying a symbol of the government or religious text are guilty the offensive it should be banned. No. Speech should be free, but you should not be guaranteed protection from backlash. Yeah, <laughs> this is what conservatives are often arguing against. You know, you are... Uh, um, you have a right to free speech, but if people do not like your free speech, yeah, yeah, there are consequences. Not governmentally, like, you won't be arrested, but if you are, like, kicked from Twitter, yeah, that's fine. Like, I cannot, I can, I should be allowed to seek Heil, like, in the city center, I should not be... Uh, allowed to seek Heil in a in a restaurant and cause a scene, you know. <laughs> like the scene, causing a scene part is the big thing. Actually, could be offensive as well, you know. Like if you seek Heil in a restaurant and the owner is Jewish or something, and he wants to kick you out, I think that's fair. We uh we should ban and penalize very offensive language as a slurs. These should be penalized. No. No, I do not. No, I I disagree with this one. You should be able to say offensive offensive language. Um. I do not think you should be penalized for that. True fines. No, I think I think this is the best one. Prayer in school. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, do I want the room for that? Yeah, I do, I do like religious freedom. But it should not be forced. You know, it's a minute of silence, who gives a shit? Uh, you don't need, you, it doesn't really disrupt lessons that much, I assume. Like, it's just a minute. Local government should build and maintain highways, this ensures they're responsive to the wishes of local communities and the wishes, yeah. Highway should be operated by a national government. This ensures we can guarantee road quality nationwide. This is for everyone. And should employ a lot of people to work on sharing top quality. We should have many highways be public, but allow private highways to be built com to compete. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Road should be privatized. Hi uh, private highway. Uh, no, wait, no, no, no. Fuck. Okay, no, not this one. Um, no, oh, wait. Let's zoom in again. Um. Highway should be operated by national government. Yeah, I think this one is the best one. I mean, highways are often not in communities. Ah, fuck. Um, yeah. I, I think this one. Yeah, I think the, decentral the decentralization of the construction of highways is fine, but it should be... Um, should be, like, coherent in a sense, right? Election reform. Election should be cancelled. Well, that's what Trump's doing. Uh, we should be making elections secure and open using internet technologies. Nope. Um, we should reform elections by making it legal to sell your vote. Nope. We should improve our election security through being more strict in ID laws and certificates of the voting. Um, generally, yes, in the US, no, this is not a problem. More strict? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. More strict in ID laws? No, whoa, whoa. I, I, I disagree with this one. Um... We must reform our elections by expanding ballot access. Citizens should be. Oh, great! Yeah, this I agree with this one. Yeah, if you have an idea, you should be automatically registered to vote. Yeah, I can vote with my um, just with my ID card. I just show them, you know. I I get a letter in the mail like, hey, you're allowed to vote. I get my I have my ID card, and then let's go. Um. So, I am very much against creationism. It's like mind rot. Uh, I'm an anti-theist, how could you tell? Uh, no, uh, the state must not take sides. I... I disagree with this one. Students shouldn't... Can't... 
should in most cases decide for themselves what to believe however it's like saying oh yeah we like teaching children there's the earth is round and then also saying but also people believe that the earth is flat no <laughs> they're facts you know this is not one of this is not one of the things you can disagree with I think I think this. I do think. I think creationism should be taught in like religious classes, but not in. In 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 science shit, you know. Yeah. It's like saying it's like saying okay, this is how the body works in biology, and you're saying okay, so this is how um how our body works, and this is how. Certain medication can work to, to improve your life. Um, and then you have healing crystals. Basically what they do... No, that... <laughs> I feel like they're equally ridiculous and should not be in school. Surveillance. Companies should be permitted to monitor your communication. Nope. The government should be able to access the communication of anyone. Um, nope. People should have a reasonable expectation of privacy in their data. The government should be allowed to get access to private communications of certain people if they have reasonable cause to apply for a warrant. Yes. People have the right to privacy in their communications. The government should not be able to get electronic data. I do believe in privacy. I do also think if you are able, for example, to intercept a phone call between like a mafia boss or s and someone else, that will be fine. Or a terrorist attack or something. That's a great way to pre to prevent everything, right? Uh, the government shouldn't be allowed to look at most communications, but software should automatically flag potentially illegal activities for review. Um... No, no, I don't think so. No, if you have software that automatically already uh, uh, says, "Oh, hey, this is, th there may be something illegal going on." No, no, I th I think that's a poor idea. Then you're saying the illegal activity only exists in there, in in the phones in the digital space. Um, no, I, I think I think it should be if you warrant activity then you should do it um no i think this is an invasion of privacy then everything you say you can already be flagged and then they can look into it i know i don't think so no i think this is the best one like i do i like let's put it like this i do not want preventative uh um breaches of your privacy like, I do like, like, preventing is better than letting it happen and then afterwards investigate it. But I no, do not think prevention is better than, um, I don't think prevention is, is, is worth the, the breach of privacy. Banks, we must not interfere with the free markets. It will fall, uh, it will fail, so it will fail and eventually the economy will rebuild itself. Nope. Yeah. We should create a single national government-owned bank and buy all the current banks, including the one that's failing. This ensures everyone can pay the same rates. No. The issue is that we have private mega banks. We should instead have local government-owned community banks that work in areas of community they represent and fund businesses in the area. And here, I actually like this. I like this. Yeah, I like this idea. Like if you have, um, if you have like small banks, and you have like a a, a small shop you want to open, then you can apply for, uh, and then you should be able to apply for it by your state or local uh, uh, local bank. Now high loans will be difficult to get. I will agree with that one, but maybe you can get some. Uh, maybe there's like a. Maybe you can ask if if you are like a small local bank to get, hey, can I get some more money? Like this is a very interesting idea. We should do this. For example, um, currently there's a, a global chip shortage, right? So there are two main manufacturers. I think the one is in Taiwan, and the other one. Fuck, I have to think. In Germany. No wait. 
I, I don't want to be wrong on this. Microchip factories. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so there are 75% uh, of production takes place in East Asia. Shit. 90% of most event chips are made in Taiwan. Yeah. Yeah, what's the other, what's the other 10%? Um, what do I call it? Advanced chips. Advanced chips factories. Oh shit, Japan has 84 chip manufacturing plants. Fuck. Hmm. Um. Yeah, okay. I don't know where the other 10% comes from, but yeah. One is from Taiwan. Like, if you have those kind of factories, then you do need a lot of money to get them. And I think then maybe for national interest, you can have... You can maybe have some more access to this, uh, to the equipment. But I still think it's a uh, the idea itself is fine. No, no, you can never know. No, there's always be doubt that there have been cases where it's very obvious that one was the murderer, but it turned out it wasn't. As a deterrent, no, I don't want to have it as deterrent. We should always try to rehabilitate, and criminals should still have a right to live and change. Now, do I think, why do I think this? Well, I think that if, um, that rehabilitations are way, way better. And this is not just me saying this, okay? There was one Nordic country, I don't know which one, which had, like, a very, very few prisoners. And once they, once they were in prison, they went through a rehabilitation process in which they could enter society full and well and have uh, uh, I think a 29% rate of recidivism so committing a crime again in the next five years or something while if you have a punishment system like in the US that can have some very negative outcomes whereas most criminals will do a crime within the next two years or something you know it's it's really a kind of fucked system, you know. Um, Recid like uh, um, rehabilitating people is way way better. I don't I don't like the death penalty as it fundamentally limits people in their ability to live. Um, you know, reasonable if you are dead, you know you can't live. Um, and I do think there should be a chance for rehabilitation. Uh, I think that's just, I think that's just very logical, honestly. So, let's see. Oh, fuck. Unitary democracy. The power should be left to the national government with little to no power given to provinces on most issues. They usually believe in using party lists with proportional representation on national level. They believe every vote should count an equal amount for seats. I sort of agree with this, yeah. Federal Republic. Federal Republic to refer to this belief that power should tend to be left to the provinces on most issues. Supports believe representatives should represent a specific district rather than the nation as a whole. They want legislative seat distribution and ensures less populous provinces still have an impact. Hmm, not really. Hey. Market socialism. 64.3 <laughs> This quiz uses the term market socialism to refer to using markets in government owned businesses Specifically they usually believe anyone should be able to start a government owned business to allow choices for consumers while still guaranteeing workers uh, The value of their labor. I agree with this Those I do believe in markets like they're just better Wait, let me 
let me get this one so you can you can read does he believe in social democracy according to this this belief that government should take a heavy hand in the market while they believe in capitalism they also believe it is duty of the government to ensure that the results of capitalism are fair and do not hurt the poor i think with capitalism they mean free market i would assume Because I do think that they need to take a heavy hand in the market, but I also think that they should acknowledge for the problems that arise within the free market. You know? If you have a free market like this one, then it's fairly um, possible to say, yeah, it can still be fucked up. Therefore, I do think they need to have a heavy hand in free market. Progress is a means exception of the progression <laughs> of technology and society and the belief that we as society are able to decide what's right and wrong on a case-by-case -case basis rather than dealing with absolute terms as technological issues are inherently complex. Yeah. Okay. Freedom. This quiz uses freedom to mean the belief in the right of the individual to do what they want without regulation or censorship by a state. This especially refers to the ability to have control of the individual's body and mind as well as the freedom to use advances in technology to their full extent on an individual level. I, I do agree with all of this, and I, I think I do agree with the, I don't fully agree with this one, because I do think that um, there are some limitations to what we should be able to do, that's why I think the progressivism is very high here, but I think um, that's why the freedom is may maybe lower. The religion part. I like this one, by the way. I, I did this test before and I got the exact same thing. I, I am atheist. Government should be a relig religious. Yep. Can be religious, but should not influence policy based on their religion. I agree. They believe students should only be taught science as facts, not religion. Again, I agree. Secular. This uses secularism to refer to complete separation of church and state, but a complete lack of interference with private religion. Yeah. Private religious schools to teach religious beliefs, but keeping religion out of public schools. Yep. Oh yeah. By the way, um, I'm again private school, so I I think, yeah, <laughs> that's a uh, that's something very general, not relating to my uh, market socialism. But keeping religion out of public schools. Additionally, they believe the state should not favor any one religion. I also agree with that one. Hybrid. This quiz calls a hybrid is who, someone who believes that the state and church can coexist and that while the state should not favor a religion, it should also not favor atheism. I agree. Uh, Hydrobus advocate for bans of religion in schools and government as long as it does not favor one any in particular or force a religion upon anyone. So yeah, so the minute prayer, I don't give a shit who you pray to. Okay, like the, the holidays, I'm fine. But you are not allowed to say... Um, well, not allowed. I don't think you should be like, oh yeah, creationism exists. Because that's the the facts and logic, you know. Uh, I do I do like this. I, 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 I agree with this one. Reformists. Someone who believes that the government must keep its people safe while respecting the privacy. Reformists believe that people should need training to operate a gun, but also support privacy rights and rehabilitation. Perfect. Uh oh. I'm a national populist. I am, first of all, an internationalist. The question is international to believe in the duty of the nation to serve the interest of all people in the world, not just the nation's own. I agree. Yeah. That's straightforward. National populist. This quiz uses national populist to refer to a person who believes in doing anything for the good of the nation's people. Yeah, but also the world. Like, okay. They will generally support international treaties when they can offer benefits to the nation's population and oppose treaties that can put them in at risk or take their rights away. Yeah. And then the open borders. I see. I think. I think this is what. Um, 
you know at some questions you had um what do you call it you had different ideas that had some reasoning that were the same i think this is the difference between them you know the reason for yeah i think people should be able to have open borders and enter wherever they want but i would also say okay yeah it, it improves the lives of the people of the nation so i do think it boils down to with these three i think it does boil down to um you agreed with this or disagreed with this statement but these are all three different reasons why you would chose them i think that's fine i i like this uh, i like this outcome Oh, wait, can I copy or save the image by right-clicking it? Oh, nice, I can copy image. Open image, a new tab. Let's see. Oh, great. This is going to be a good thumbnail. Or something. I don't know. Alright. Those are all my opinions. I, I think I explained everything, right? Well, anyway, if you have a disagreement with anything that's here, any positions I held through this review, um, let me know in the comments um, if you want to debate or something. Uh, that's in the description. Um, yeah. So I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time.